Aloha ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to uh, Communist Sweden. We are at war with the Allies uh, for the domination of Iraq, I guess, but we are of course good. Oh, sorry. Uh, going to try to dominate Europe here and let's check out the map here. It's uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, although many of the liberated countries don't exactly have any sort of powerful army. I've set up some battle plans. We're gonna go ahead and execute them already, even though they're risky, and uh, hope for the best. Because it does say that our enemy is inferior. And so we'll try to create a united front, clean up some stuff, and uh, then we'll be alright. Now, of course, thanks to my foresight, uh, well, Turkey might be joining us soon. And the how are the Americans doing? I still I don't think they're at 50 yet, but 45. So eventually, even though they'll be a pain in the ass for a while, they may turn to our side. And in the meantime, let's see the French. The French. Maybe we should actually stop the boost popularity. I don't think that will work over there. And the Polish. I'm boosting it, but I don't know. You know what, I'll keep it there, but I don't think it will serve much purpose. Hey, what the hell? Why is uh, Republican Spain not in the uh, Swedish-German war? I don't really feel like calling them right now because we're already totally winning, but that's kind of odd. We're going to victory point rush uh, uh, Poland here and try to just make them surrender as quickly as possible. Um... Yeah, so that's what I'm doing, and then we'll turn and face uh, westwards. Alright, we got Denmark to capitulate. Wonderful. That's uh, more stuff for us. And uh, let's put them over... I mean, there's so many plans here. Uh, or there aren't many plans over here. Maybe we should uh, focus more on that. Uh, I'm trying to micromanage this front. The fall of Gibraltar. Wonderful, that's that's very good for us. It means we can pass ships here, and the Brits can't. So this area is isolated from this area. I'm abandoning Poland, because uh, even after capturing all their victory points, they don't seem to surrender, and I've really got to defend here, because they're trying to cut us off. Oh, holy shit. Ah, crap. Did we just lose our entire navy there? No, 45 ships. We're still fine. Uh... But yeah, since the Suez Canal was closed off, or is closed off, we're taking this uh, dangerous route, to say the least. Um, I wish we could, like, make ships go through rivers, like, Viking style, but unfortunately they have become quite large. Well, at least we sunk uh, a light cruiser and 12 destroyers. Hmm, that's pretty good, I'd say, uh, considering they had a bunch of uh, naval bombers. To Paris we march, comrades. First Amsterdam, though, but, you know, that will fall pretty quickly, I imagine. Oh, I love our territory. Now, actually, the map looks nicer. Of course, the Soviets controlling this doesn't look beautiful, but uh, the fact that our name just flashes over this and it's not disconnected, it's, oh, wonderful. Oh, we we made them capitulate. This is awesome. Okay, Sven Linderoth announced that the cowardly Dutch nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Swedish forces throughout the country. The Dutch government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces haven't or have capitulated, and Fort Kemet is now in control over their home area. Though the war against what remains of the Allies continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of the Comintern. Yes, uh, although I'd like to see. I mean, I wish we could actually release a, a communist Dutch country, but I guess that's uh, only after the peace deal, unfortunately. 20% war contribution, I like that, that's good. Luxembourg capitulates, great news. Oh, look at the lovely amount of troops we've surrounded here, they are screwed. Paris is about to fall, ladies and gentlemen, this is a, a great day. Alright, Paris is mine, although... Uh, we forgot to take that one province right there, so actually we'll move an infantry there as well, and we'll take Paris. 
Right, I, I paused there for some reason. But yes, the fall of Paris. The inexorable advance of the Red Army continues, and reports are now coming that the French capital is falling. French communists supposedly aided the Soviets when they entered the city, taking part in attacks against retreating elements of the Armée de Terre. Leaflets have been distributed throughout the city, informing Parisians that they have been liberated from the bourgeoisie oppression, and that Paris, the Paris Commune has finally been resurrected. It took... Uh, what is it? Uh, 70 something years, but the Paris Commune is back. The Soviet bear is growing. Well, not just the Soviet Union, it's also Folkemet, the people's home. And, uh, yes, we are doing very well. The fall of Tokyo. American forces have entered Tokyo, and the US War Department recently announced an end to to major combat operations in the city. Fighting was reported as heavy, particularly in the vicinity of the Imperial Palace, which was defe oh, defended by fanatical members of the Imperial Guard. Even though the Emperor is believed to have left the city before the American assault began. With the fall of Tokyo, experts predict that organized resistance to the rest of the Japanese home uh, islands will soon crumble. Peace negotiations are expected to begin shortly, unless Japanese hardliners convinced the Emperor to continue the fight to the death. A significant development. Next up, Rome. Uh, should we activate the plan? I don't know. Oh, superior enemy. That's quite interesting. But let's just position ourselves first. And then we'll see. Oh, maybe we should take care of this first. I'm not sure. So we have 54% communism in... Um, or communist support here in Turkey. I'm hoping that they'll uh, stage a coup all by themselves, and it should be very soon, I imagine. Over in the US, we're back up at 40%, so eventually, uh, hopefully just in time, they will turn. Otherwise, we could always start t staging a coup if, they, uh, if we feel like they don't start on time. Let's see what we can research. Let's do... Mobilized infantry soft attack, mechanized infantry soft attack. Uh Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do this. You know, I was sitting here and I was like, why are my ships not repairing? I put them in uh Spanish ports for a long time and they were just sitting there and I realized that for some reason the repair mechanic went from high priority repair to never repair. So that's that's why. Oh, our Swedish forces are just so good. I mean, our manpower is uh, pretty low now, so that's not too good. But, uh, yeah, we're overwhelming them. Let's go with uh, battlefield support. I think that's pretty good. Uh, ground support's great, too, but uh, I don't know what the difference is, really. Uh, it's just, I just know some planes can do ground support and some planes can do the other stuff. Oh, just watching the planes is so much fun. Look at that. That was like a... You, and you can hover over the planes, so you can see... I think. No? Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, but that that's fun. And Rome is about to fall, too, so that's uh, great. And I'll... Uh, hopefully there's a pop-up. Oh, wow. Actually, I was checking our uh, support or war participation. 34% on the Soviet-Iraqi war, and the swedish German war 23%. So we can pretty much ask for territory now, since the Soviets control so much. And I think I'll be going asking for them for this, even though, I mean, technically I want the production and, like, all the nice stuff over here, so I'll see what I'll ask for. I, I just don't feel like doing it right, right now. I uh, prefer the AI taking over some stuff for a while. I'm not very good at micromanaging. Non-aggression pack, no. Rome, the Eternal City, has fallen to the advancing Soviet spearheads. As Italian forces fell back, Russian troops fanned out into the city and dealt with the few remaining pockets of resistance. Most historical landmarks appear to have suffered little damage, although there are conflicting reports that the Pantheon was r r racked by machine gun fire. Uh, so far, Soviets, uh, the Soviets appear to be respecting the neutrality of the Holy See, but their forces have positioned themselves in the ring around the Vatican City, a gesture that must, uh, that must surely make His Holiness nervous. The Soviet bear is growing. Actually, it was our troops that captured uh, Rome, but you know, whatever. Fine. Holy crap, here's the British Navy. Wow. That's scary. Joseph Stalin has announced that the Karolyi Bulgarian nation could no longer withstand pressure from the overwhelming presence of Soviet forces. 
Lovely. We're researching the super heavy tank. That's gonna be great. Um, so we're gonna, I think we're gonna replace all the heavy tanks with super heavy ones, and then we're gonna have a modern tank as soon as we can get it. Uh, I mean, we do have modern Blitzkrieg after all, so the better the tank, the better the everything, right? There we go. We've asked for control of states, and we've taken most of, uh, the old German lands, and I think I'll give the Soviets this if we can. I don't know if we can ask for more. I doubt that uh, they'll want it. Yeah, we don't exactly have the participation to claim any more, I think. I think we're going to be super gentle with the Germans and the Polish. Uh, just because I want the manpower. Manpower is good. Man, this, this area here is just... It's a slaughter fest. It's taking forever. I've moved the plans, I've made sure everything works, but, you know, they're completely surrounded and yet they fight. Holy shit, they'll give us more. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take it. Wow. Holy crap. We are powerful now. 205 factories. Let's see how the Soviets have it. 244. Yeah, we... We're doing good. Now, the United States, of course, they... Must be pretty insane that they can go up to like 301 there. Uh, but you know that's uh, that's amazing. I don't, I don't know why we have export focus. Feels like free trade is better. Factory output goes up, construction speed goes up, research time goes down, and resource to market goes up. Okay, resource to market might be bad, but I think this is uh... no. I don't know. Ah, whatever. It's working this way. Let's leave it this way. Ah, finally, with some, a little bit of micromanagement and a lot of casualties, we've finally pushed through. We need the manpower. There's no other way. Let's uh, do all adult serve. I mean, it's uh, gonna take a hit on production. We'll take a hit on production, but it's the only way here. Oh my god, that's nice to see, but uh, I don't think I'll be recruiting anything anymore. We'll just use the the units that we have and try to, you know, make them as good as possible. Oh, come on, we have 58% here. Why why are they not revolting? We should have some uh, communist civil war. Although, maybe it's because they are in a war. How's it over here in the United States? 50.33. Okay, good. Joseph Stalin announced that the cowardly Turkish nation could no longer withstand uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, alright. So he takes Turkey. Lovely. Uh, and I, I was just looking at a Norwegian British uh, fleet battle, and uh, the thing is, uh, I'll just have to cancel boost popularity, I guess, because that's, you know, useless right now. Uh, we have a lot of political power that we're gaining. I think that the uh, best thing we could do is just influence South American nations here, like Brazil, uh, maybe Argentina. Um, 40, wait, 4,604. You know what, let's just do Brazil for now, and, uh, yeah, we'll see. Iraq capitulates, so that was, uh, what we were after to begin with, that's great news. Let's pause here. Uh, ooh, I no longer have a, a problem with, uh, supply here. Interesting, let's see, chromium. Alright, that's fine. And this... One less. Alright, cool. Alright, we just made Italy capitulate, but for some reason, uh, Italy capitulated to the United Kingdom. No idea why. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, actually, ch ooh, that's not good. Let's move all our, our fighters back north. Select all. Yeah, we need the supremacy over here. Ah, fuck it. What the hell? Back to 41%, please. What are you... Why? How? Is it some... Do you always do these focuses that, like, boost democracy for some reason? How? Just tell me. Ooh, Sweden could have uh, aircraft carriers. That would be quite a lot of fun. Not that we'll ever need it, but, you know, let's just have it for... Uh, you know, being able to just tell to the world, hey, we, we can actually produce these things. I asked for uh, more states to control, and look at that. We're looking even better now. 
It's really rather annoying, this thing, because uh, this territory is technically controlled by the People's Republic of China and this by China. And they're kind of our friends, but they're also friends to the Allies. So it means that Allied troops can uh, keep landing here, but we can't actually take control of the provinces. Uh, which means, yeah, it's very annoying. Um, the British Parliament debates intervention in the Benelux area, but... What the hell are you talking about? You... You are literally in the war and you've been fighting in this area forever, like, what, what... I don't understand. Is, uh... Are you putting on a focus to conquer the area? Whatever, such an action will upset the balance here. What, what balance? This is the balance, okay? Don't talk to me about balance. You know, as soon as we're done with this particular push, I think I'm gonna take back this, uh... Offensive army and put it as a... A garrison in this area because uh, all of the time we get uh, sabotage it's like every every week it seems like they're trying to destroy some factory so we'll have to show them some discipline all right so we've added this super heavy tank over here um, yeah that should uh, do pretty good all right I think I think it's time already let's uh, go ahead and station them as uh, garrisons all over the place here um, and uh, make sure that we don't have any nasty revolts or uh, rather we'll, we want to suppress the potential revolts. I, I'm just waiting for Japan to surrender really because then we'll, we'll be able to have a nice peace deal. It's so nice to have own so much. I had no idea. I never expected to own this much actually. Um, wait, what happened? Right, Garrison one more province and there we go actually maybe we should change ah no this is fine yeah I think the Soviets can uh, do this themselves right uh, we really need to lower the revolt risk I mean whenever we have quite a few I think it's based on population though but um, some areas we've already pushed it down to 0% revolt risk so that's pretty good the British Parliament debates intervention in Scandinavia, considering the strategic value of the Scandinavian region, blah blah blah. Right, so, uh, yeah, they, they pretty much want to, uh, they get some Costas Belly or, or a, a justify war, but it's kind of useless because, you know, we're already at war, so, whatever. Will they threaten in the uh, British independence too? Wait, what? I'm confused by my answer. Uh, I don't know. That's weird. You know, even if it looks very good for us right now, I'm not sure if we can win this in the long run. Um, the British are lining over here. Uh, they'll keep on fighting in this area. We have to deal with revolts. We have a low manpower. And... Oh, they're trying to land... Oh, they've already landed in Calais. Oh, and that's bad. All right, let's, uh... Should the Soviets deal with that? I don't know. I feel like the Soviets are doing so much. All right, we're gonna deal with this. I don't care about the provinces. If uh, they start destroying everything, we'll just uh, give the control back to the Soviets. Because the war participation is still on our side, which means uh, we'll still get, you know, to negotiate for the peace, I think, uh, with the same amount of points that... We would otherwise. Oh, I love just doing this. We we were gonna take the port. They're gonna be trapped in here, and we're gonna just surround a bunch of units. Well, shit. There's a battle here. Uh, okay then. That's a bunch of battleships. I was like, holy crap! They have 36 carriers. No, they have a lot of things. And yeah, the well, they'll have to go back to port and. Uh, hmm. Well, that didn't work as uh, planned. Greece capitulates. Lovely, I sent my troops over there to take Athens. And uh, now, mm, I think I'll send them home. Iran capitulates. Okay, we're doing good. We're, uh, do we're progressing, that that's what matters. The thing is, Japan is still around. Okay, the United Kingdom's doing something at least. Because I really hope they surrender very soon. It's uh, kind of annoying. Uh, having them around. Oh, 99%. All right. It's it's coming very soon. All right. Our new tank divisions are going to look like this. We'll have two super heavies and then four modern tanks. 
So the old one or the other ones are obsolete from now on. It's August 1945 and the war with the Axis isn't even over. Uh, seems like the British stagnated here. But we'll, we'll wait, we'll wait. Oh fuck, I lost two divisions. Stupid American submarines. I was like, oh, we'll just cross because I thought maybe they'll. Uh, we don't need to uh, stand around too long. But it took like days. Jeez, oh, this is stupid. Tunis shall be ours, and uh, the plan here is to just basically send this, uh, these divisions down this way, capture Cairo, and reinforce over here, and then maybe go home. Because again, my f my factories and things are being destroyed. Right, the United Kingdom announces Balkan diplomatic initiative against the fascists. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, what? Excuse me? What, uh, diplomatic initiative? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. They've been liberated. A coup d'etat in Yugoslavia. Uh, resulted in overthrowing the regime, King Peter on the throne, and they've cut off their ties with Germany. Well... Uh, what? Yugoslavia joined the Axis. Excuse me, you just literally cut your ties with Germany. I don't know what you're talking about. But okay, fine. Fine. You, the game is kind of, you know, wasn't really ready for this scenario of us liberating the world. Ooh, a sandstorm decided to show up just when we uh, were uh, pushing through. Um, I realize also that if uh, by finally taking the Suez we'll stop the supply of ships and stuff into the Mediterranean and we'll have control over it. So that's uh, the aim here. Saudi Arabia has capitulated. Great news. Finally. Alright, this is the plan and uh, I don't think there are many units around so it should be fairly easy and we have some uh, pressure on the other front there so we should have Suez in no time. Goddamn sandstorms! Just when uh, we're about to win, I mean we we've taken the Suez Canal pretty much, but this uh, the sand thing is uh, kind of annoying. It's coarse. It's annoying. It gets everywhere. Ah, Star Wars reference, right? Yemen capitulates. Lovely. Okay, let's uh, actually check out uh, who else is left. We've got Ireland, Australia, Canada, Liberia, New Zealand. Uh, South Africa, Siam, United States, Philippines, Oman, and of course the United Kingdom. Uh, so obviously the big powers are still left. We've got two years of gameplay left. Um, I don't know. Will we succeed in that time? I'm not sure. Ooh, 50% again. Hmm, interesting. Oman capitulates. Lovely. I think uh, we are well on our way to victory. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh my god, Communist States of America, look at that, that is actually the, uh, that hammer and sick, or, an industrial thing there, that's the, the symbol of the Communist Party of the United States, this is so cool, holy crap, now, how do we get them to, uh, abandon the Allies, that's the question, I don't know how that works, now, I had all my fighters in northern France and in the Benelux region, but, uh, you know, right now they have, like, 900 active fighters over here and 900 over there, so not a very good idea. I lost a lot of uh, pilots, so uh, we've moved them to West Germany, and we'll be building a jet fighter force over there. But alright, I think this will be it for this particular episode. It is, I've been playing for six hours straight and I have an exam tomorrow. Not a very good idea, I guess, but um, this is a lot of fun. So, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, it really helps the channel out. Subscribe if you haven't already, share it with your friends, and I'll see you later. Farewell.